Welcome to another episode of Roxy's Run and Inspire. Today we're talking about the preload, yes or no, and why and why not. Before I start, one little idea which caused me to film this video. Reflection is the key to constant personal growth. At least that's how I feel it. And that's the beauty of getting criticism because if someone criticizes you, he gives you, he or she gives you the opportunity, the present self-reflect. And if you ha get criticism and then you think about it, then this reflection can cause a lot of personal growth, which is why I see criticism as a huge present, as a gift and as an opportunity to grow. So actually, if someone gives you compliments, it makes you feel good. But if someone gives you criticism, then you can become even better. So it's a great opportunity. And this is how I started to think about this video and why I'm filming this. A few years ago, I took a certification and in this certification, the instructor said, I'm not allowed to use the preload um, because it's wrong. You can now see me performing a front wheel lift with the preload and without a preload. Both is working, I'm staying balanced on my feet. So why is one right and why is one wrong? And I decided that I do want to use the preload because it is such an intuitive move and it improves and makes a lot of things so much easier. First of all, let's look at what is the preload. The preload is a dynamic compression of your bike through the feet. By doing this, you are giving an energy and this energy is coming back. Obviously, if you have suspension, then some of this energy will disappear because that's what the suspension is there for. It's there to take up energy. However, most of it will come back and you can use this energy to make things easy for you especially short riders like I am. I'm pretty tiny, I don't know if you've seen. And kids can make use of this preload to make skills easier like the bunny hop, the manual, the front wheel lift, and even the rear wheel lift because they are compressing the bike and the moment the bike is giving back the energy, they can also explode and then a lot of things get a lot easier. Today in specific, we're looking at the front wheel lift and you can see me now performing one with the preload and then performing one without the preload. You can see the difference that in the preload version, I am compressing the bike and the moment my fork and my suspension and the energy stored in the wheels gives out again, I am also exploding upwards. So my front wheel kind of lifts automatically. It's a very, very intuitive move. If you were jumping a trampoline, right before you jump, you also compress the trampoline and then you explode upwards. And that's what we can do on the bike. So a very intuitive move. Don't overthink it and get the energy back. In this version right now, you see I'm only going low and then I'm exploding upwards. So I'm not using the stored energy in my bike. And you can see my front wheel is not coming as high. And I can tell you this move costs much more effort. So it's much harder to get the front wheel up in the first place and to get it higher, higher, just as high as I was in the one with the preload would cost so much energy. So I'm not saying one is right, one is wrong. This video is about reflecting. So thinking, why is the preload good for me? Do I want to use it or not? And when is it hindering? And for example, if I'm learning the wheelie, then preloading the front may cause a lot of energy come back and might, may cause unba an unbalanced front wheel lift, which is then harder to sustain if you want to roll in the wheelie. So maybe in a wheelie, it's not as good, but for a lot of moves, like I said, front rear wheel lift, bunny hop manual, this preload is such a valuable tool to have. So I'm very thankful for this certification because they said it's wrong, don't do it. And I adhered to it, but afterwards I reflected and I grew from it because now I have two tools in my toolbox. And the more tools, the more skills you have in your toolbox, the better you can react to anything that is thrown at you on the trail or even in life. 
And this is something I would like to pass on to you today in this Ride and Inspire video, that whatever anyone tells you that it's wrong to do, think about it. Is it really wrong for you or may it be easier to do it another way? Reflect and find your solution because we're all different. Find an authentic solution, find yourself, and that is the day you will start becoming much happier and the day writing and life will become more intuitive. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you think what I'm saying is complete nonsense, then feel free to jot it below in the comments. If you liked it, then I would love if, it, if you bought me a coffee because I really like coffee and it is so amazing to feel that I'm being appreciated and give me the thumb up. See you again for my next video. If you have questions, always ask.